Welcome everyone to Coffee with the President. I'm your host, Alex Boylan. And today we have President Daly from St. Thomas Aquinas College, about 15 miles north of Manhattan. Thanks for having a little coffee with us this morning, President. Yeah, how you doing? Good, good. Uh, really excited. We're at the end of our semester now. It's been a great semester and uh, really looking forward to celebrating our graduates next week. Uh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. And I love, you know, I grew up on the North Shore of Boston as we were talking before recording this. So I love this area of the country. And so what, what an awesome opportunity to have a school and have students so close to Manhattan and have all those opportunities. Really, really fun. So tell, can you tell the, the audience a little bit about the campus culture? What a student can expect at Stack? Sure. So I'm a New Yorker through and through. I was born and raised in uh, Brooklyn and was actually in the energy industry for 30 years prior to this. Uh, and my lifeline, long passion was to become a college president, become an educator. And here, what I love about Stack is the type of students we have, the culture we have on campus is really transforming the lives of these young men and women. You know, when they come to Stack, they're at varying degrees of readiness for college. You know, some are uh, off the charts in our honors program, really ready to take on the world. Others, you know, not quite college ready. And what I love about our culture is that our faculty in particular are so dedicated. I like to say they work more with the students outside of the class, if you can imagine, than even during the class instruction. So I think our culture is really a culture of caring and you see the transform, uh, transformation in the young men and women's lives. Yeah, it's fantastic. And you know, everyone all, you know, Everyone has said that you know all these students by name, which is so impressive. And I think that speaks to the, you know, the culture of uh, the faculty and administration as well. Yeah, I mean, you can probably see on my left uh, shoulder here, I have four children of my own, three of whom are in college. So I know what they're going through, uh, but I have 1,200 more right here on campus with me. And I do try to spend as much time as I can with them. You know, that's my main role is to serve students. I want them to know that I'm on their side and the odds with me and our faculty, uh, with them are much higher than if they were trying to do this on their own, obviously. So uh, I meet them out at the front gate in the morning. You know, it's half president and half parent, checking to make sure they got their sleep and did their homework and had breakfast and all that type of stuff. But also to kind of have the discussion around their academic preparedness and, you know, careers and jobs. Uh, I teach every freshman class. So we have something called Stack 101. Uh, it's readiness for college. So I make sure I go to each class at least once and have that discussion on how we can help them, how we have resources, you know, tutoring and mentoring and guidance to get them started on their way. And I make sure that every day as part of my rounds, you know, I'm visible on campus. I'm very rarely actually here in my office. Uh, I like to get out and about, just coming from the library now, we had 50 of our high school students coming for a visit. Uh, and then throughout the course of the day, you know, I'll try to interact with students as much, much as possible. That's my eyes and ears. That's how I learn what's going on in their lives. Uh, what's on their minds and how I could help them through what's you know a pretty tough time right now. Yeah, I love that. And well, and I also I kind of love your business background, you know, because you know you're coming from a different lens in, in some aspects. And, and of course you're coming in from an academic standpoint, but you're you're coming in as a parent. You're also coming in as a, like, hey, this is you know, we got to help usher you know th these students through. I love that. Yeah, I mean the, the one thing I focused on in my prior career, um, I was always present at colleges and high schools. I was a, an adjunct professor for 30 years. I was the chairman of a community college. I was on the board of my own alma mater. But I think the one thing I probably did better than all the other things was workforce development. You know, I probably helped thousand kids, if you can imagine, over the years, get a job, an internship, start their career. So now I'm surrounded by wonderful educators. I'm blessed, you know, with the team we have here. But I think what I add is that real visibility as to what the careers of the future are what the workforce is expecting and how to ensure that we have the readiness among our students. So laser focused right now on internships and co-ops and career experiences for the students. And again, I start right with the freshmen. Some of them aren't ready to go off campus for the job. They don't have a car yet. They don't yet have the skill set. So we hire them here on campus for their first internship. Just had a wonderful breakfast last Friday with 30 of those students who worked in HR and finance and marketing. You know, the nice thing is next year, they won't be interns here at Stack. So I'll place them out at some of those companies. So a big focus on using my kind of corporate background, if you will, in trying to understand what companies need and positioning our students for success pretty much right for the freshman uh, semester. Oh, I love that. I love that. Is that your favorite part about being president? Just connecting with these students and helping them do this? Yeah, but, but by far, it's the interaction with the students, you know, again, inside the classroom. I love, you know, being an educator. I do teach uh, the freshmen and some other classes as well, but it's more the 
walking around campus, to go into the event, the kind of feel of what's going on in students' minds. Sometimes it's to celebrate their success, you know, but quite often it's just to solve a problem. Uh, you know, maybe the print is not working and, you know, the president wouldn't know about that, obviously, but guess what? After I find out it's working, you know, uh, maybe they don't have a laptop. Well, guess what? They have a laptop now. We make that happen. Uh, maybe they're struggling with their financial aid and they don't want, want to register. Maybe they're a couple of credits behind. And we haven't come for the summer. All different types of things that by walking the campus, I can learn and listen and then kind of quietly behind the scenes, go back to my team and, and make it happen. Oh, I love it. I love it. What are you most proud of, of the student, of your student body? I mean, clearly the last two years would have to be the resiliency. You know, I, I think when we look back someday at this generation, they're going th through things none of us went through. I never went through it. You know, uh, COVID obviously uh, was at the top of the list. But then more recently, sadly, the, you know, war in uh, Ukraine. We had a wonderful uh, Ukraine support day here on campus. They're seeing things that, you know, none of us have ever seen. Inflation at 8%, supply chain disruption, crazy labor market, stock market, you name it. But they've navigated through it. They really have. You know, uh, a year ago, we were mostly hybrid, some in person, some online. This year, completely in person, not a single day of instruction missed. And the students bounced back so well. They responded. It was tough in the early days, you know, but they showed that resilience, that endurance. Now, when I see them, they're so much stronger, so much better positioned. So I would say the, the respect and the resilience they demonstrated throughout a couple, couple of pretty tough years. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Um, yeah, what a, what a few years. Wait, I'll show that through. So final question. Once again, thank you for your time here, President Daly. Uh, final question. Who's the right student? Like thinking of the next generation um, of students to come through here. Who's a good fit here at, at your university? Yeah, what I love about uh, St. Thomas Aquinas College is it really does have something for everyone. Let me try to explain what I mean by that. So half of our students are male, half are female. That you'd expect. Half are white, half are ethnically diverse. Half are commuters, they travel into the college. Half are residents, they live here on campus. Half are student athletes, they play for our teams, you know, incredibly competitive D2 teams. Half are those of us who go out and support the athletes. So it's a real nice mix, uh, you know, something for everything. Four schools, on one end of the spectrum, liberal arts. On the other end, we just launched a brand new STEM school to focus on science and technology. And then in the middle, our flagship school of education, and our school of business. So really run the gamut, uh, gamut in terms of academic offerings. And then the size is a real nice mix. The big campus, you know, something to do here. We have a bike program, free bikes for all of our students. We have movie nights, we have food trucks, you know, clubs, uh, all the sports we discussed, but then small class sizes, you know, 12, 13, 14 students per class, faculty that will be there during study hours. Uh, everyone knows your name, not just the president, probably even more so our staff. So I think the perfect student is someone who wants kind of that big time experience of a college with a campus and dorms and, you know, clubs and activities, but perhaps needs a little bit more of that individualized attention, wants to be part of a smaller community where their voice will be heard, where the president will know their name, and where if they have an issue, we will immediately respond to it. So I think a nice mix of a full college experience, but in a very caring, nurturing way. That is very well said and, and awesome to hear. Well, President Daly, thank you so much for having a little coffee this morning. So great, so great to have you just speak about this awesome school and institution and um, look forward to being in touch. Thank you so much. Great. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, as hopefully you can hear, educating and serving these students is my passion. You, you really can appreciate you can feel it, President Daly. You, can, you really can feel it. That's, that's so great. Thank you so much. All right. Cheers, everybody.